Jirag uh, Patel, uh, could you please give us a call back at 256-265-5150. Madison Emergency Room. Thank you. Good neighborhood, so I didn't expect anything to happen. And I'm demonstrated that this could happen in Madison, Alabama. Uh, I moved in this neighborhood uh, about two months ago. It is a dream for me because I come from very poor family and I worked so hard here. Uh, he he had a, a spine surgery, so he is able to move his little hands, but he don't have any grip, so he cannot hold anything. His uh, right leg. Uh, moves a little bit, but he is not able to move his uh, left, left leg. As per doctors, it is going to be a long recovery and uh, we don't know how good he is going to get. Uh, he, was, uh, he was just walking on the sidewalk that he does uh, all the time and uh, um, he was uh, and the police car showed up over there and uh, after police told him to stop, he stopped and uh, he was telling them uh, no English uh, Indian and uh, he was uh, telling them in English uh, uh, house number and pointing towards the house and uh, <coughs> I think they, they put him to the ground and uh, at that time after they put him to the ground he just paralyzed the whole body just right there. Why do you think this happened? I didn't suspect. I, I really don't thought like this would happen, so I really don't know because he is a very, uh, not a suspicious guy or anything, he just walks and minds his own business, he didn't step into the anybody's you know, property or anything, no, step, not step into anybody's yard or anything.